Okay, so you want to get started with search engine optimization, but it's super confusing and you don't know what to do first. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm going to tell you exactly how to start with SEO and how things evolve sequentially so that you can be successful with search engine optimization. Okay, so the first thing that you do is you set up a website and then you take that website and you submit it to Bing Webmaster Tools and you submit it to Google Search Console. That's gonna get the site so that it's inside of the index and so that these different search engines know that it exists. Outside of that, you also want to go ahead and set up usually local directory listings and there's a couple different ones that will allow you to do that. Some of those being Uberall, Moz Local and Yext. So those are a couple different options for setting up local directories. That's gonna build some links to the website, let people know that you're a business that's out there, and then it's also gonna make, make it so that it's in the index. So those are a couple good places to start. So next, there's a couple technical things that you wanna make sure are set up correctly on your website. You wanna make sure that you have a site map. You wanna make sure that you have URLs that are not dynamic, kind of clean URLs, they never change, and that can be sit, sitting there in the index and can be picked up. And you want to make sure that you've got a couple specific items on your pages. So you want to make sure you have titles that are on the page, descriptions, H1s, H2s. You can add copy to the page. You can add images to the page. And if you can do that, then you've got kind of the basic foundation that you need for search engine optimization. If you're on WordPress, then it's a good idea to install Yoast. That's a very common WordPress plugin. That's going to make sure that you're set up well there. Okay, so you're in the index, you've got some basic technical things set up. What do you do next? Well, the next thing that you wanna do is build out the website so that you've got just kind of a normal website with some content on it. You've got the most important pages for your business. And then as a next step, you're gonna to want to start developing keywords that you wanna rank for. And a really good, easy way to do this is to go and put in your competitors into a competitive analysis tool. SEMrush is a great tool for this. You can drop your competitors in there. You can find all the different keywords they're ranking for, try to pick some of the best ones in the industry. And you're gonna wanna cherry pick and take out the terms that your competitors are ranking for and put them into a sheet, right? The ones that you also think you wanna rank for. In addition to that, in that same tool, you can see the ads that your competitors are running and you can see where they're running those ads. So what keywords they're running those ads on. You take that and then you also take those same keywords and then put that into a sheet. So you've got a, a big list. Outside of that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put in keywords into SEMrush that you think kind of intuitively makes sense for your brand, that's going to spit out a whole bunch more keywords. And really what you're looking to do is something called a keyword analysis. So to develop a list of all the keywords that you would ever want to rank for within your space. And then once you have that, you are going to basically set that out and then determine what are the 10 most important, what are the next 20 in that mid-level, and then what are the next 20 in that next level down, right? So you've got your 10 most important and you've got a couple different levels down as far as importance basically from a conversion rate optimization perspective. So if you got ranked for these things in Google, would you actually get business from them? So putting them in that hierarchy is really, really helpful. After you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to optimize your website. So you're going to want to assign one to three specific keywords to each individual page on your website. And those keywords should be really closely themed together. So if it's SEO company, for example, it might be SEO company, best SEO company, uh, best SEO company USA. Those would be examples of three that would be, you know, kind of in one group. And you're going to want to do a keyword assignment. So that those, those one to, you know, five keywords for an individual page and make sure you're working that into the title, this description, the H1, the H2, the copy, the image optimization, and you're gonna go ahead and push that page live and that's going to allow that page to potentially rank for that term. So you're gonna to wanna to use that process and go throughout the entire website and do that. And if there's certain keywords that are on your list that don't fit with a page, you're gonna to wanna to put that into another bucket because we're gonna be creating more pages later for those specific terms. So if it doesn't fit with a page, if it doesn't really make sense to associate that keyword, put in another bucket, we're gonna make more pages down the road so that we can potentially rank for those terms. So you're gonna get the whole website optimized in the way that I just described. Then you're gonna create a list of the additional pages that you wanna create that will basically work with the keywords that weren't able to work on the website. So you create this list of another 20 and 30 pages, for example, and keywords that'll be associated with those pages. Then you're gonna to wanna to start creating those pages on a monthly basis 
basis until you've built out a whole bunch of more content that you could potentially get ranked for in Google. So now you've created a really great on-site optimization for your main site and you've created new pages and you're gonna start getting in more and more traffic. And if you go inside of a tool like SEMrush, you're gonna see your keywords going up, you're gonna see the traffic going up and you wanna really continue to create new pages on a consistent basis so that you can always be ranking for more and more terms. Okay, so what do you do once you've got the foundation there? Well, really then it's all about content creation, it's all about social media, and it's all about building links to the website. If you have a page and it's ranking position 30 for a term that you're going after, if you get another 10, 20 links or so, you don't wanna to go too crazy on the links because if, if you get too many, you'll get a penalty. But if you start getting more links to that specific page, you're gonna rank higher and higher and higher. So you wanna determine what are those five to 10 most important keywords and build links to those pages over time. You also wanna curate the content on those pages. So add more information to those pages, make those pages better. And then that's gonna show Google that these pages are, are alive, they're being updated, you're building links to them. And, and that's going to allow the pages to rank higher and higher and higher. So that's a basic overview of how to get started with search engine optimization. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, give me a yes. Make sure to comment below or ask any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. See you next time.